Hi, my name is Kmot. This is a continuation of the preparation of the bank reconciliation and it specifically relates to financial accounting and for, for ease of reverence, I'd like to refer to this as part 2.2 and I'm specifically going to deal with the preparation of the bank account and the general ledger of the business. I've already dealt with the preparation of a cash receipt journal and cash payments journal in part 2.1. I'm going to continue to look at the question paper, which was written on 10th of June, 2016. I'm still going to use the Excel spreadsheet to illustrate the preparation of the bank account. I quickly want to take you to the given information. There you go. Remember, we're busy with question two, and it relates to ABC fashion wholesalers. We're tackling that aspect. Requirement 2.2, that is post to the bank account in the general ledger, and, 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 and balancing the search bank account. We've already done the difficult work by preparing what we call the cash receipt journal and the cash payment journal. We're going to take the totals relating to the cash receipt journal and post them to the bank account and the totals of the cash payment journal and posting them to the bank account. Firstly, we need to establish what the opening balance relating to the bank was. Remember, we were provided with a bank reconciliation for the month of March and we want to do the bank account for the month of April, so that we can for the month of April, so that we can do the bank reconciliation at the end. So since we given the bank reconciliation statement, it will consist uh, the balances per bank account. Remember, it's important uh, to realize the fact that an unfavorable balance means that the um, the given amount will be taken to the credit side of the bank account. Yes, I know that a bank account, uh, it's an asset and we're dealing with a T account and it should, the opening balance should naturally be reflected on the debit side. However, remember with a bank account, it's possible that we can have a negative bank account due to the fact that uh, the bank account of the business could be overdrawn. If that's the case, the opening balance will be taken to the, debt, to the credit side of the bank account. Without wasting the time, I'm going to take that opening balance copy. Um, that's the T account that we're going to use to complete uh, the bank account. That's the credit side. I'm going to take that amount. I'm going to take it to the credit side. And this relates to the balance. Let's quickly write the description. It is the balance that has been brought down. Remember, it relates to the previous months. Uh, a balance in this month is going to be treated as an opening balance. I'm going to write the date. The date should read April. April 2015. There you go. And it's actually the 1st of April because remember, we, we, this will be the, the opening balance in, in the month of April. It was closing balance in the month of March. Moving on all swiftly. Now we need to do transfers. So we're going to transfer the cash receipt journal. Remember, it has already been done. So I'm going to say equals to, I'm not going to redo the entire CRJ. It was already done. We're going to transfer that amount. I'm going to say equals to, that's that amount. Remember this amount relates to your total receipts. at least the month of April. Twenty fifteen. The date will be the thirtieth. Remember that was the computation of the total cash receipt on the thirtieth. The next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to transfer the uh, cash payment balance to the bank account. It will be taken to the credit side as payments are reflected on the credit side of the bank account general ledger, the T account. That's the total. I'm going to take that total equals to, I'm going to transfer it there. Remember the total relates to total payments as reflected in the cash receipt journal. There you go. It should be total payments. Um, the date, we're still going to go with the month of April. However, it's the 30th. 
Let me just open it a little. Okay, there you go. That's it. Remember, it's important that when you do the T account, the debit side must always be equals to the credit side. At the moment, they're not equal. I'm going to leave that at green because we want to balance to the greater of the two sides. Let me just quickly make that red. The two are not equal. We're going to make them equal by balancing the debit side because the credit side is the greater of the two sides. So I'm essentially going to say equals to, I'm going to take that amount. I'm going to less that amount. Enter. There you go. So this will be reflected as a balance. This will be the balance credit down because it relates to the closing balance. I'm going to take that balance and I'm going to transfer it there. I'm going to transfer it there, just there. At, so I'm going to call this balance. It will be a balance brought down. It has to be equal to that amount. When we do the bank reconciliation, we're going to take that amount into account. But I don't want to go to the bank reconciliation because I just wanted to focus on the bank account. Uh, this is where I'm going to stop. Let me quickly just copy the format. It's the bank account. In the next presentation, I'm going to do the bank reconciliation.